and welcome to Colors by Chloe. I know, cool name. I, my name's Chloe, that's why it's so catchy. This is my first YouTube tutorial live art thing. Not sure whether I'll keep my speaking or I'll just put nice music, we'll see. Um, I'm doing a bit of a different one today. I'm going to be, this is glass. So I'm going to be doing a sort of a negative painting with a, a little, Naphthal Crimson as my background and then it's going to be bronze, gold, this yellow deep, isn't that a beautiful colour, um, and black. And we'll see how it goes, should be quite striking. Let's see if we get the effect we're going for. So we're going to do uh, two flip and drags, so I've got them here, drilled holes into the bottom of them already. And then we're going to layer our paint in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of red in the bottom of each. Hope those sticky tips hold. And then I'm just going to layer the red around the rest of it. Now, where do we want our colour? We want it. See if we have enough of this crimson. Might need to make up some more, but that's okay. So the red doesn't have any silicon in it, but I'm adding one drop to the other four colours. Let me see how it goes. Sometimes when you add the silicone to paint, it can go a little bit thick. I'm just going to loosen that up a bit. That's beautiful. I love these metallics. These ones are Montmorty. Still trying to find that perfect sort of copper colour. The Derwent Matisse does a beautiful one, but very expensive. More expensive than I can afford for my credit pores. The beauty about doing this on glass. You don't have to worry so much about the edges. I haven't put any silicon in this red, but this is the first time I've used this particular brand of paint and I think it's a lot thinner than I'm used to and it's forming a lot of cells just with the water. I 
think I might have to put music over because I've got a 15 month old in the next room and he is losing his mind waiting for his food. Ah, <laughs> oh, the tantrums. God loves the tantrums. Okay. I always keep forgetting to clean this. And then it gets all rusty. So I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be a cleaner artist. I don't know if that exists. Okay. Now we've stirred this black cloth quite a lot because of the silicon so let's hope it still behaves itself. I don't know if you can see me pouring those. Now I'm going to leave one with less paint because it's only going to have a smaller area. One's going to do more, one's going to do less. So put yellow in and then this one will be done. Now, unless you're doing like a really big canvas or you've got the squeezy bottles, you don't really need to make up much paint because you're going to use a lot less than you think. And you'll either end up with a lot of wastage or instead of doing one painting, you'll end up doing five. used up all those, I'm going to give them one, two, see after that, and one, two. Now if I'm pouring them from really high and they mix well, I don't do that, but these ones, they're quite small. We're going to let them sit for a little bit, just to let all the paint settle down. Um, while we're doing that, I will clean up a little bit. You know, whilst these are plastic, you can just chuck them out, but they're really easy to clean. You can get a whole heap of uses out of them. I'm trying very hard to be less wasteful. that enough. Let's do the small one first. See how we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of red around it. Alright. Okay, so it should It'll lift up and start to move all on its own. Now I've hit the canvas here and that's exactly what you don't want. So we're going to tilt it to try and make up that. But let's do the other one first. Be conscious of how quickly the paints run out. Okay, now let's go.
Okay, that's good. We're going to let the silicon rise. If I can easily and quickly see my flame gun, we'll flame it. found my torch, but couldn't find the lighter for it, so we're not going to flame it. I don't reckon it needs it anyway. Okay, let's get ready to tilt. Sorry, I realise that you can't see, but it's going to be a great surprise when you do. Look how lovely that is. Now I'm just going to try and this one, drag it into its centre a bit more. There we go. Right, that's looking great. Now, I just want to break up some of these edges a bit more. That's where our handy dandy straw comes in. And there we go. I think, oh, just going to. You know what? Bend out just one. Remember that whole trying to be a clean artist? Oh. There! And done! Now I'm going to.
to let that dry and I'll show you what it looks like dry. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, I have a YouTube channel, Colours by Chloe, or a Facebook page by the same name, Colours by Chloe. Come check it out. Or a website. I forgot about my website. www.colorsbychloe.com For all the Americans on there, it's colours spelt with a U, C-O-L-O-U-R-S, by Chloe. That's me. Thank you for watching. Bye. Before I go, I'm going to bring you in for the old close-up. You'll see my very messy art studio while you're at it. And here we are. The camera hasn't really captured the magnificence of this piece because this background looks orange, but it's really crimson red. So let's see if we can get you some details here. love this. This here is beautiful. And there we go.